And this, although Plow and Hearth has brought us lots of beautiful spinners, is not something you spin. Uh, this is something you hang on the wall. This is one of their lovely wall art pieces. This debuted uh, just a few days ago. It's been very, very popular. We have it for you today on two easy payments of $15.62, and that price goes up at the end of the day. So please take advantage of that while we've got it for you. Nancy, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Carolyn. Gosh, are these pretty, and they're Beautiful. really substantial, so it's not like a tiny little thing that you don't notice. That's right, and Plow and Hearth is a company that does wonderful items to help mm -hmm. add that distinction and beauty to your outside of your home, inside of your home, very often things that you're not going to find somewhere else. And exactly. I love their wall art. This is made of metal, so you have three really gorgeous colors. Mm -hmm. You're gonna choose by color, but there's also a critter on each one of them, so if oh, you're good. particularly drawn to one of the little critters, that's how you might make your choice. So let's start here with the one that you're holding. This is the ladybug, which is on the one you're going to order called purple. So if you want ladybugs, order purple, and then you'll get the purple and pink flowers. And then in the middle, you have blue, sorry, you have pink, mm -hmm. which has the bees on it. Yep, So exactly. three fun little bumblebees on there. And then on our door here, mm -hmm. we have our blue, mm -hmm. which has butterflies on it. Isn't and it, they're so pretty. And while we're on that one, I'll go ahead and share some of the yeah. details about okay. it if you want to come up here. Sure. So this is the wall art that's made out of metal. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see that it's got a vase. It's a little bit different than other wall art that Plow and Hearth has done, which has usually been like one big piece. Yes. And they decided to create this beautiful vase mm -hmm. that's got embossing and different oh, kind of It almost tones. kind of looks like a terracotta vase, doesn't it? It does. It Tile. does. Mm -hmm. And all of that's textured. You're seeing right there. That's kind of like it's embossed on there. Then as you're coming up, you're seeing your first little butterfly and then correspondingly you're going to either have a bee or a, a ladybug. And then there's these flowers that are coming out of here and I'll show you how they're three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. They're kind of on this little piece of metal that makes them spring. Mm -hmm. There's a, just a slight amount of glitter, very pretty, not too much. And then you've got the embossed leaves and coming up you have two more butterflies and then your third flower. Mm -hmm. So it's such a lovely graceful piece uh -huh. and if you want to use this outside, feel comfortable that you can. I have had mine out on a trellis since I believe January and it looks perfectly fine. I love that it's added color before yeah. anything's going on so can, in my garden. So it can get rained on and, yes, and no, no worries problem. there. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's show, I'm going to step down for a second. Yep. Let's show the uh, side view because sure. this does have a lot of three dimensionality to it. Exactly. So here you're going to see that the flowers are on kind of these like little springy pieces of metal. They're not springs, but they're little pieces of metal that come out. So give them a little bit of movement, but you'll notice it's not very deep. So right. if, you're ha if you're someone who likes to have something on your front door, but maybe, you know, you have a storm door or a screen door so you can't accommodate a really nice thick wreath. Yes. This is a great option because you've got the flower presence, you have the beauty of the metal, you've got the critters, mm -hmm. but you don't have the depth that you have to worry about. So purple is going quickly. This is the one with the ladybugs. If you'd like that one, I'll put my hand behind her so you can see her. Ladybugs are always such a happy so little cheerful. bug. We love mm -hmm. them. So uh, this is actually a man bug because the male ladybugs are the red ones. Did you know that? I did not the know that. The females are the orange ones. That's why okay. you see two colors. Yes. So this is a man something bug. something every day. <laughs> but, a man uh, ladybug. We, we think of them all as being red, but they're yes. not. But um, I love the combination of little critters and flowers and I the movement too. and the sparkle. These are just really pretty. The actual height on them is about 25 and a quarter and then they're gonna be about 19 inches across. Yes, exactly. So whether you're choosing to put this outside on your back patio and you have a wall that mm -hmm. just needs something, right. or I love the idea of having, like it, let's pretend instead of the side of a house, this is a fence. So maybe in your backyard, you have a fence that's, you know, kind of between you and your neighbors and you have your butterfly bushes or yes. maybe you have your roses. Uh -huh. It's nice to do that kind of decorating up on mm -hmm. that space mm -hmm. because it's like the wall of your yard. So right. giving yourself some of that vertical decorating. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have a shed that's not the best shape, but you want to kind of perk it up a little bit mm -hmm. instead of painting it. Put a couple of these on there. I like what you did with the, the trellis idea too. Yes. Because sometimes when you have something that climbs up a trellis, the flowers are all at the top and then you've got that long area from, right. the, from the ground where this would look really pretty, perched right in the middle. I like that. So let's look at the choices again. You're looking right now at the pink. The pink is the one with the bumblebees. And Isn't it's that kind darling? Of a pink. It's yeah, really pretty. It is very nice. And then uh, we also have the purple one, which is the one that you guys are loving the most. That's got the ladybugs on it. And then over by Nancy, 
we have the beautiful blue and the blue one features butterflies. Yes, exactly. And they're so lovely. They're almost like, you know, just almost a rose shape sort of. You've got the different textures and different layers of the flower themselves. Mm -hmm. It's not just flat. Your leaves are not just flat either. These are embossed. They're also kind of a brush stroke of different colors of green. Mm -hmm. I love that the vase has that embossing. You said it sort of yeah. has that terracotta look, but also it's got that texture of leaves on there. So Plow and Hearth takes great care with their wall yeah. art. We know you've loved it for years, so this is a really neat kind of interpretation of wall mm -hmm. art. Use it indoors if you'd like to. It yeah. is not meant to just be outside. If you'd like to use it indoors, feel well, comfortable. Well, if you have you like one of those uh, uh, California rooms or a yeah. uh, or Carolina rooms, I should say, or the um, uh, screen porch, all, all season Wouldn't porch, this, be pretty? this yeah. would be really pretty out there as well. So stay in the ordering process. We have two payments of fifteen sixty-two. The price on this will go up at the end of the day. A fairly a brand new item for Plow and Heart that we're debuting now towards the end of the season. Pink has the bees, blue has the butterflies, and purple has the ladybugs. And if you noticed that cute little uh, white bicycle that was perched behind where I was standing with the planters in it, uh, that is available from Valerie Parr Hill as oh, well. It's adorable. Thanks, Nancy. Thank you, Carolyn. Okay, so we have solar lights that are coming.